はい、えー、皆さんこんにちは。Hi everyone、えー。嵐の中。Thanks for coming in the middle of this horrible rain. あのー、Two days ago on Saturday in the VGAs we made the announcement, we showed the new rising and we announced that we are working with Platinum Games. We haven't released any information ever since E3 of 2010 regarding rising. We've kept silent, so I understand you will have many questions. And on my side, I have been, I had, I had to keep silent as well. So today, I want to talk a lot about that. Hi everyone, I'm Inaba from Platinum Games. I will keep it short. So so far, I've been working on this project, but. From direct orders from Kajian Productions, I had to keep it as a, a secret. That was so, so hard for me. And now today I'm free to talk about whatever I want, so, well, I want to talk a lot of things, so please. I have a lot of questions. I think my biggest one is if you could talk a little bit about、uh, Mr. Kojima, about.、Um, What the game was like before the cancellation, and then we heard in the video that、uh, Platinum, basically in the space of a year or so, was able to fix it, and so kind of how they so quickly were able to go in and and fix issues that you had before the cancellation. So I was working working on Peace Walker. I had handed this project of rising almost everything to a, to younger staff, so we had a very different relationship from other working teams. I wasn't aware of the content; I was merely working on Peace Walker. There was a time like that. So, under that situation, I usually should probably should have stepped in and collaborate for the game design. But I've done that in many games, and if, whenever I do that, the young staff never develops. So, I didn't want to do that, and I decided not to do that for Metal Gear Rising. Then, in the summer of 2010,、uh, the team made a presentation for me. I realized the game design wasn't still there yet. So, And by the end of last year, I realized that this way we would never get a game.、Uh, as the young staff said in the beginning, they wanted a feel-good ride-in that just felt good by moving. We would never get that, so I decided to cancel the project. But still, we had a lot of things like motion capture, a lot of good story,、uh, the view of the world in, inside the game, and I was I wanted to use that somehow. I want to re- rising to be born again. So that's when I decided to contact to contact Platinum Games. <laughs> so、uh, at that point, Platinum gladly accepted. That's what Mr. Inaba <coughs> left、uh, by the beginning of last year. At this point, we already have like the, the initial phase of the project. We have a, a very solid game core. We have a very good game design. Now we just have to keep working according to the plan that is already established. Uh, we have a very, very tight schedule. We're working like、uh, game companies used to work 10 years ago, very quickly, very fastly. <laughs> Now that I think of it, probably was by the time that、uh, Mr. Kojima had just cancelled the project. I kept meeting him in, in parties, and I just asked, like, as a fan, as a user, "Hey, what's happening with Rising? What's up with that?" Now that I think of it, I shouldn't have asked that question. Maybe that was like the the reason I get this project. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun, but the schedule is really tight. We have to work really fast, and Kajun Productions has been demanding a lot of us. The game is high speed action, but the de- development is also being high speed development. So if we are successful with this, we're gonna make huge changes in the industry. <laughs> Mr. Kojima, now that you've handed a big project over to your younger team and they were unable to complete the game,、uh, do you foresee giving them big projects in the future? And do you see yourself being more hands-on with all the projects at your studio? 
スタッフ、個々のスタッフ、非常に優秀なベンチが集まっているプロダクション。In our production,、uh, individually, there are very, very good staff members. We have very good people working in there. But the game designers, the leaders, they're very hard to raise, to educate. I don't think that will happen. So we will probably get, have to hire this kind of persons or, or work with outside productions. So far, there have been many games that I've designed that I had trouble with the execution, b u g g e d at some point going into that phase.、Uh, because for many game designs, it's very hard to、uh, actually materialize whatever is the idea.、Uh, maybe many times only the person that thought about it can materialize it, can actually carry on the project. But in this, this, for this occasion, It was n not my game design, so I usually am much more involved in the project. This time I was watching from a step back what they were doing more calmly. A few years ago, I made a game called Zoe. At that time, before Zoe, I actually handed one project to my staff and they couldn't make it. So. They were making something like a very Japanese RPG. So, what they, I asked them is like, what do you want to do? What is exactly what you might want to make? To which they answered, we want something、uh, to make something about robots. We wouldn't need any material. We can, if we do something about robots, we'll be able to make it. And that's when they started to show their, their talent. They were very talented people and they started showing it. So, if we are able to make that kind of environment where they do what they, what they already have in their minds, it's good. But then again, to make something up completely new,、uh, that needs、uh, some leader, and that will be something that we will have to keep in mind for the future in Kojima Productions from now on.、Uh, this question is from Mr. Kojima.、Um, so, after the debut of the trailer、um, at the VGAs, there was almost a mixed reaction among the hardcore Metal Gear fans as to what they saw.、Uh, some people were very excited by what they've seen from the new Metal Gear Rising, but other fans have said, Uh, we liked what we saw from the original version,、uh, the, the older version that is now canceled, whereas this game looks more like a Bayonetta and less like a Metal Gear.、Uh, to those fans, what would you want to say to them to, to tell them that they should be excited about the, the new direction for Metal Gear Rising and to keep them excited in the project and to tell them that it is indeed a Metal Gear game? So, what people saw in the old trailer, that, that the same game that had the same goals. Maybe the colors, the, the kind of effects that are used are, look very different. But what, you, what is in the new trailer is the same thing, has the same goals that the team had back then when we made the old trailer. So, the goal was always making the, right in the, main, main, sorry, the main character, making something that you could have everything, anything, some speedy action. In that regard, the rising that we were, we were making, well, sorry, in the rising that Platinum Games is making looks great 60 frames per second. Back then, we were working on three, 30 frames per second, so it was some like a little heavy action.、Uh, it was a little slow. But right now, what we are getting is, I, I think that like, even the old staff that used to be in the old project are impressed because it really looks like what we wanted to make back then. So, in the ori originally, this was supposed to be a, a Metal Gear Solid that had Raiden as main character, the ninja action in there.、Uh, I told my staff, you don't need to have the stealth element in there. It doesn't have to be. Really dirty, but the staff were like, no, wait a little bit,、uh, let's make it half stealth, half action. That never worked out. And for the old Metal Gear Solid style, the stealth style, the stealth side, the side that the core fans are mentioning, well, so far I, haven't, I don't have any plans, but there may be something in that direction. Just keep in mind that Rising is definitely going in, the, in a different direction, it's moving elsewhere.、Uh, the stealth element will be for other,、uh, maybe or may not be in something future. We that are making the game, we have clear in mind that we don't make, want to make a game similar to Bayonetta. I'm not in a position where I have to judge if the original or the old Rising was fun or not, but I saw all the stuff that, that they had done so far. 
you could tell from the screen, even in the images, that they were having a hard time. It was that kind of content where you could tell that they were having a hard time. My job is not to change the original concept. It is to take the rising concept and make it something fun. So for Metal Gear Solid, right, so, sorry, for Metal Gear Rising, I'm working on the same concept and just to make it something that you 